The US military is at the forefront of technological research and at the helm of it is DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and these guys are pretty much in charge of developing the future of military applications. Hopefully some of that we find peaceful applications for because the technology is pretty crazy. We're talking about artificial intelligence, we're talking about robots, we're talking about the applications of all the technological knowledge that we have today and how we can take it into the future and for that, the, the, the scientists at DARPA came forward with a series called Fast Forward to the Future. It's a series of three videos in YouTube, Margaret, where they explain mm -hmm. the predictions of what uh, military warfare will look at 2045. And the first video, uh, it was Pam Melroy, former astronaut and the director of DARPA's Tactical Technologies Office. And pretty much they handle the development of drones. And what they're working on is called vampire drones. Drones that when the light of the sun hits them, disintegrate, leaving no trace behind of the operation so they can be even a further step of stealth uh, technology. Not only is the materials that they're using, also the way we relate and control these drones. They're trying to develop pretty much technologies that allow the drones with artificial intelligence to predict our emotional needs, our physical needs by learning our emotional cues so they can take preventive action on support to the soldiers. There's a general that says that by 2030, 30% of the combat soldiers will be robots. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna try to tag this to the system that is called an empathetic system, pretty much knowing what the soldiers are feeling and what they need so the machines can actually help them. We're talking about behavioral learning. These machines are learning um, you know, how emotional responses occur so that they can adapt to electronic warfare, which is a little scary because we're yeah. talking about you know, things like mind control where, where um, you, know, you can possibly control. This is what they're developing right now. Yep. And they're, they're doing this for the purpose of warfare. We need to point that out that DARPA and Lockheed Martin, you know, that they've contracted, these are, these are, you know, these new technologies are, are for one single purpose, I want to point out. Um, it's troubling, at the same time it's cool. 2045, they think that they're going to be able to do uh, mind control, you know, being able to move machines and drones with your mind. That's which, pretty uh, insane. Ooh, yes. Justin Sanchez is a neuroscientist and one of the program managers at DARPA's Biological Technologies Office, and pretty much they're saying that by 2045, mind control, thought control, and thought power technology will be the standard. Pretty much you will be able to turn any device with your mind to communicate with others through the use of uh, nanotechnologies that will allow for control uh, of m even cars, mind control cars, which is not too far away. But the combination of all these new technologies and, and this idea of the velocity scape, the amount of technological improvement is exponential to get to a point where you know, we are advancing in leaps and bounds from one year to the next one and technology multiplies in itself and we are looking at a future not too far away that our houses, the way we live, drawing from this military technology into the household is going to be completely different from our experience today. You know, DARPA, the electronic war concept, warfare concept, it's a little too much for me. You know, leave this to, you know, we're, we're advancing farther than we should be, in, in my opinion, and, and the ethical implications of warfare should catch up with these technologies. All the investment, the amount of money that we invest in trying to develop new technologies for war, maybe it could be used, that same amount of money, to solve some of the problems that we face today, like the hunger and the displacement of many people out of the wars that we create with the technology that we have today.